This video is about setting up your new notebook. Let's hit new, import, and click the file, wherever you have saved it. It opens on the cover page. You can leave it blank, add stickers, I'll show you that later. Now we go to the Good Notes Index tab. You can see the layout starting with the cover, index page, then 14 tabs, all the way down to the different page styles and ending with an info page. If we go back to the cover and swipe to the right, we can see the index page and I'm in read only mode. It has 14 tabs and this is made to fit the whole screen in read only mode on the older iPads 12.9 inch, I believe it is. It might not be so screen filling on the newer iPad, but I didn't get a chance to try it. Here you have your 14 subjects or tabs where you can type in or write your subjects. Uh, for example, if you use it for school, but you can also use 1 to 12 for every month if you like to bullet journal. Um, use 13 and 14 for a regular journal, uh, just writing or trackers, things like that. I, for example, have one with personal stuff. One is for kids inspiration and the other is for recipes. The other is for home inspiration, things like that. You can keep it all in one place. All the subjects in this little button are clickable. Um, I'll tell you about the info button later. Here you see all the different page styles. With rules, dot grid, uh, blank and square pages. Here we swipe to the first tab. Uh, you can see all the numbers, they're all clickable and lead to their corresponding tabs. And yeah, up there we have the column where you can put the tab number or the subject. Uh, if you're on the inserted pages, which we'll do later, you might want to put a date on there. If you're taking notes for a lecture, you can put the date up there or the subject. It really is personal preference. I like to use it for my bullet journal, for example, and their dates. So. All the numbers we have that are clickable, um, I already mentioned that, and a clickable index button. Which takes you back to the index page. So let us set this notebook up. Here you can find all the different paper styles on the right. You probably already have a paper style that you use. If you're just note taking, you might want to use the narrow world. Um, if you're doing note taking on different subjects. You might also like the squared if you're doing mathematical stuff or the dot grids for bullet journaling, whatever you prefer really. So we have all our uh, tab, let me put this aside. I thought it would look cute. <laughs> Um, I don't know what, what I was thinking. So uh, for this demonstration, I will pretend we will put up a bullet journal, which will run from January through December, where we can use the 13 and 14 tab for tracking or other purposes. Um, you might go for dot grid if you're bullet journaling, but for the purpose of this video, grid will be better visible. So I will pick that. So we actually set this up by copying our preferred page after the tabs. We'll start with the squared one and you can see um, it has the squares and it has all the clickable tab numbers up there and the index page and the column. We want to copy this page so all the links remain clickable. Um, this is the way to set up your notebook. You can go to the top right and copy the page. Next, we will want to paste this page after tab one. Click it. So we go to tab one, then we click the plus sign and paste page. Easy as that. And all these links will still be clickable back to tab one or the index page. So I'll click on one, which is our January, with the page, and then we go to the second tab we can just paste it there again by hitting the plus sign. You can also just hit the plus sign and hit current template. It will use your current page 
and preserve the links. So this is really the way you want to set these up um, to make sure the links work. You cannot save these pages or export them and then import them back and then the links will be broken. And this way you can just continue pasting your pages. Um, right now I don't have it copied anymore because I entered the current template in the previous one. So I'll just copy this page and paste it behind the next tab. Well, you get the idea. Um, so let's go to the GoodNotes overview actually. So you can see how it's set up. I'm gonna delete this because it has a double page there for demonstration. But all the pages are added after the tabs. And you can just do that for the rest of the notebook or add different pages that you prefer. You can also leave it open and just add pages as you go uh, from the different page styles. To make sure all the links keep working, you want to keep the paper styles in place because you cannot paste them in afterwards and same for the tabs because that's where all the links lead to. You don't want to break the links because then your notebook will be less functional. Let's click on the index tab. Up there you will find the info button, click it. Um, in the top right corner you will see the last update of the notebook or this page. I suggest you always check the resource library um, to download a new notebook there, just to make sure you have the latest. Here you have a link to the video. The resource library will be filled with updated notebooks, um, extra options, stickers, different covers and tabs. Um, and it's dedicated for the 14 tab notebook. So anytime something changes or I design something for the 14 tab notebook that I think is useful, I will put it in there. Um, you can also find other colors of this notebook in there because you will probably only receive one with your download and you download the rest from the library. At the bottom of the page you will see my email address and Instagram because I love to connect with you outside uh, YouTube or my store uh, would love you to find me there let's go to the resource library you just click the button and a link will pop up Open the link and it will take you to my Google Drive folder you can download all of them and then delete um, the ones you don't use or pick them separate, which I will show you now. Um, I will first find a cover sticker. Let's um, <clears throat> set this up in gold. Um, find the gold. We have rose gold, gold and silver. So we will go back and go for the gold ones. And I will set this up as a 2020 bullet journal. So here you can see all the different stickers for the cover, but I will pick the 2021, the 2020 one, <laughs> if that makes sense. You also have other options, all the months and um, notes or journal or bujo or agenda or diary, but 2020. So you just download it by clicking the download button. It has no viruses, I promise. Let's close this tab. So let's travel back to the tab stickers. I've made a first set in there, which comes in all the different color options, gold, rose gold and silver as well. I will update these as I design more for your notebook. Um, let's download the number one, the number two, they go all the way through 14 and I will download <clears throat> a blank one as well. I'm sorry. At the end of each folder name, you will find the year and the date the folder has been updated or added to. And I'm going back to the cover stickers because I really want the January sticker. Since we're setting this up January through December and I think that the hot pressed gold foil sticker would look really good 
uh, on a tab as well instead of the regular tab stickers and we'll find out so we download that so I also added some bonus blank pages that don't have a top bar. You may want to use them for the 13th and 14th tab where you just want to write undisturbed without any tabs on top. Um, great for diaries or just undisturbed writing. Um, you have the good notes and the PDF optimized one. The good notes optimized ones are made to use zoom because if you have the basic zoom when importing a pdf goodnotes will just jump like half a page if you hit the enter button um, there's no workaround for that for imported documents if they're not goodnotes documents which is a bummer and i've already added feedback for that but i don't know if they will do anything about that so for goodnotes users you have this folder and if you go one step back, there's also the PDF folder. Let's download it. Maybe I can show you how to use those later. All right, so let's go back to GoodNotes. Go back to our index page. Then um, we have the cover. We want to add a sticker. We can hit the plus sign. Uh, wait, let me um, do that differently because I haven't saved them in photos. So you hit the image sign and then import from and they end up in your downloads folder on your iPad. So you go to downloads and then you can click them there and drag or just click. Just click, that will work. Enlarge it a bit, center. My preferred way to do this is actually opening up the files and drag it so you have the split screen it works better in landscape mode but we'll show it this way yeah so let's go to tab one and now we can just drag it on top of it we have a tab sticker with the number one on it and i will just place it there you can enlarge it but it really has the same paper texture as the um, background on the cover or end on the tab so it really fits well with the whole design really looks pressed on you can see there's the number there we can now write on it or type in it or whatever you prefer and I will type January because that's how we are setting up this bullet journal today so let's wiggle this in place a bit and Somehow, when I record a video, I spontaneously forget how to use GoodNotes. But, yeah, so there it is, all nice and scented. And I'm gonna delete this again because I really want to try the Hot Foil January sticker I downloaded as well. Because I think it will look really good on the tab. So we open our second window. Um, yeah, I opened good notes. It's something I do so much. <laughs> yeah. So let's open up the files instead, as intended. Then drag the January. Gener drag it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Sometimes I just cannot drag stickers anymore. I really don't know why it sometimes won't drag. But well, we got it now and it does indeed look pretty fancy then we also downloaded a blank tab sticker um, it's basically just the same as the first one we wrote January on but it has no number on it and the reason I'm showing you this is because I also think it looks really nice on a cover it gives you uh, that basic uh, school notebook style um, yeah so uh, these are all the tab stickers you have lots of options here this looks really nice so this way you can put together your whole notebook in one style so below this video you can send me a message uh, you can send me the email you can find that back on the info page I showed you earlier as well. Um, please 
Let me know if you have any feedback, requests or features you'd like to see. Because what works for me might not work for you. Um, maybe you're missing some stuff you would like to see put on the cover or on the tabs. And I would happily work on it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope you stay in touch. I hope it was useful as well. Bye.